Plus, a local city voted the least friendly. What Boca Raton is doing today to let you know it's nice. Now, from the station that's working for you, covering Boca Raton, the Palm Beaches, and the Treasure Coast, this is CBS 12 News at Noon. Welcome back to CBS Film News at Noon. Boca Raton getting a bad rap recently for its unfriendly residents. In a survey from Foursquare, Boca ranked as the 12th rudest city in the country. And now the city is making an effort to improve its image. Let's join Peter Schaller live in Boca Raton, where the city is celebrating Be Nice Day. So, Peter, what is this all about? Well, what it is, after that really unwanted and ugly reputation they got from the Foursquare survey, a lot of people here in Boca Raton, a lot of businesses were wondering, what can we do to help it? Well, here we've got today a lot of deals, special parking spots, and a lot of more information also coming from the mayor as well. Let's go to some video and talk about Susan Wenschel, who is here for a ceremonial check-in here at the plaza. They're encouraging everyone to pull out their smartphones, log into Foursquare, and say nice things about Boca businesses. Foursquare is an application that lets you and your friends talk about where you are, and it also lets you sound off about local hotspots. Boca's big problem up until now is that a handful of people left a lot of nasty feedback, and that's how Boca earned the title of the 12th rudest city in the world. Today they hope to start chipping away at the bad reputation online, even though it's a rough time of year to try to do it. It may be slightly more difficult to be really, really nice, but we're going to do it and we're going to show the world that regardless of how hot it is, we can be nice here in Boca Raton. And one more perk for checking in the plaza has a designated parking spot front and center reserved for the person who checks in the most, also known as the mayor, on Foursquare. And back out here live, the mayor adds that... Really, this ranking came after just a handful of people, about 25 people left a whole lot of nasty comments. So, Susanna, it just goes to prove that all people have to do is be pretty loud and boisterous online, and they can make a big impact on what's going on in their local cities. We're live in Boca Raton. Peter Schaller, CBS 12 News. The squeaky wheel gets oiled, right, Peter? Yes, definitely. <laughs> all right, thanks, Peter.